talented artists from the Midwest are coming together at the Fort Gratiot Lighthouse to embrace their spooky side. Frankenfest is a fine art fair with a spooky flair. Um, we have art from over 100 artists all over the Midwest area from people came in from Wisconsin and Indiana and Chicago and Ohio and all across Michigan. Um, we have programming and reptile adoptions. It's really, it's kind of a spooky festival and a really fun day. We travel to historic uh, locations. Last year we did four different historic locations. This year we're doing two. Um, so we're in Port Huron today and then we're in Detroit uh, in September. So this is a brother-sister collaboration. I do a big art fair in the Detroit area where I live and my brother does a Halloween maker fair uh, in Lansing. And so for years we had talked about you know, Frankensteining both of our events together and making something like this. And we were so busy and we started doing this in 2018. And then um, we really just didn't have the time to put it together and then COVID happened. And then in 2020, we finally had the time to really flesh it out. And it great, gave us a great thing to focus on during that time. So when you go to a big box store, you might like something and you put it in your home and you really have no experience around that except for going to that store. When you buy a piece of art from a local artist, you will remember the festival, you will remember interacting with um, that artist, you will know the story behind the piece of work, you will know their inspiration, and once you put that in your home, let's just say it's a painting or a print or something, and you will think about that, you will think about that all um, every time that you look at it, and to me that has more value, and you are supporting your local neighbors and friends. And it's really important to celebrate these independent artists. My name of my business is Seems Witchy. I have been in business now at this point since just after COVID. It's a good environment and all of the vendors are great. We all chat, everybody gets along and you know, you've got the aerialists and it's just not like a normal uh, event that people would have. It's people like Halloween year round. So I like those kind of events. Well, I have witch hats and flower crowns and towels and all kinds of other witchy things, but I also sell Renaissance Festival gear as well, pirate hats and that other stuff. You can contact me at seamswitchy.com or on Facebook at seamswitchy. According to my mom, I've been an artist since I could hold a crayon. <laughs> so at 30 years, it's just in my soul. I have to do it. Um, but there was one teacher in first grade, we did a career project where a bunch of volunteer moms laughed in my face and said I couldn't be an artist I would starve and then the next year my second grade teacher Miss Bolio saw my art and said made me promise that I would never stop and so I just never have and she still calls me every year on my birthday and I'm 31 now so I think um, her and my grandma being the other artist in the family between the two of them like I've just been able to keep going and finding my voice and my style and everything. So anyone can, who feels like they want to be an artist can be an artist. There's always someone for you. You don't create for what you think people might want. You create for your soul and then your people find you. And it's like my people find me here. If you miss this unique opportunity, they have one more event down in Detroit and you can find more information on www.frankenfest.com. For Thumb Coast TV, I'm Kaylin Williams.